Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I just wanted to pop on here and talk to you about some brooches that you may not know are worth big money. And the first. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have a whatnot show tonight at 10 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to be bringing jewelry, vintage to now. I've got tons of brooches. All right, Bolo Buddies, so up here is my fancier stuff. I'm thinking about digging into some of this tonight. I also have a ton of brooches that I have been going through. I'm going to do some pick twos, some pick threes, some singles. This shelf would be items that I'm going to do in small lots and some singles, depending on what it is. And all of this down here, oh, I can't even pull it out, is crafters, all crafters. So if you guys want to see some crafters lots, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys tonight. Thanks for watching. So follow me down below. There is a link. Um, you can get $15 to shop when you use that link to join. And I hope to see you guys tonight. One we're going to talk about, I'm really going to ask your opinion, but the other ones through all of my research over and over and over and over again, seeing these brooches going for big money. So let's talk about it. So I know most of you think that Avon is pretty much worthless. Well, Avon did collaborations with other brands. So those brands would get with Avon and they would make a brooch or a necklace or a piece of jewelry and it would be a collaboration and Avon would sell it, but it would be exclusive to Avon. That's how I understand it. Now, this first one, I can't verify and I'm not sure if this is legit or if the seller messed up. So all of you people out there that maybe know something about brooches or are experts in Trifari or experts in Avon, let me know down in the comments. Is this actually a Trafari piece? Because I'm looking here and I don't see anywhere where this brooch is signed, but they did not show the back. So they said it's a Trafari piece from 1997 for Avon and it sold for $75. So I guess be on the lookout, maybe Trafari and Avon did collabs. I'm not really sure. But the other ones I know are definitely big money bolos. So let's look at some more here. This one here is a 1983 Jose Barrera, I think is how you say it, for Avon. So anything that you see that is Jose Barrera for Avon, definitely pick it up and look it over. Let's see if this one is signed on the back. I'm researching right here with you guys. Is that a signature maybe right there? Oh, it's hard to say. This one is in the original box. So maybe that's how they knew. I think maybe this circle has something in it down here at the bottom, perhaps. But this sold for $120. Now, these are older vintage brooches. This one's from 1983. The next item I just was caught completely off guard, completely costume, no collaboration, but it's an Avon Casino slot machine brooch pin winner three lipsticks silver tone and vintage and they've got the measurements it says avon clearly on the back this sold for i had to go over to terra peak because a best offer was taken of 75 dollars. so if it is slashed through and you know a best offer was taken you can take that title and you can cut and paste it over to terra peak and that will give you the actual sold price now, this one right here is not signed. It just says Avon Sunflower Satin Gold Plain Unpainted Rare Signed 1980s. It's just an Avon brooch. It's signed right there. I never would have looked at this one and thought that it was worth big money. But it looks like it sold for $150 plus shipping. And hold on a second. Look at this. Do you see that? Those look really similar, right? Okay, we'll come back to that. So I could not find where I checked the seller's uh, feedback. There was no feedback, but they had not relisted the item. So I'm going to assume this is a good sale. Now, my question for you is, this looks 
like this, only it's all one color. Do you agree? Do you guys agree with me? This one is YSL, I've Saint Laurent. <laughs> Hold on, I thought I was going to try really hard to get this one right. Ives Saint Laurent, I think is how you say it. I can't remember. You guys have told me a hundred times. But anyway, it's from 1982. And that brand is almost always a bolo. So if you see it, whether it's towels or clothes or jewelry, pick it up and definitely comp it. But don't sit it back down until you look it up. Now, let's see here. Looky, looky, looky. I feel like that one is signed Avon only. I don't see where it's signed with the collab. So maybe not all of them are. Maybe that's just something you have to know. So if you see this Avon piece, definitely know that it is a good one. I saw this one over and over and over again in the solds. So it wasn't just this one pin one time that I saw. This was in the, the solds a lot. And this one sold for $159 with one bid. So do you think maybe somebody got the paint off of it? Or do you think that Avon had a, a different... I don't know. I'm so confused about this. Let me know down in the comments. There's got to be an Avon person in the group that knows. This one is Kenneth J. Lane. Kenneth J. Lane, definitely a bolo. They did a collab with Avon. There are lots of different variations. This one is actually, if I can get the photo to work here, marked right here, KJL for Avon. So you can see it right there. Let's go back out. And this one is a snake, a double snake pin. And I went over to Terapeak and it sold for $120 plus shipping. Elizabeth Taylor is probably the number one big money brooch that did a collab with Avon that you want to be looking for. It seemed like I saw so many different variations of Elizabeth Taylor for Avon that went for big money. This one is a double head horse brooch. I'm not sure why there's not a picture of the back. It seems like a lot of these photos, people didn't do a whole lot of photos. I would recommend as a buyer and seller on eBay, if I'm buying, I want to see I want to see where it's signed. And as a seller, I would think that you would want to show the back of the brooch just so the person buying it can see the condition and stuff like that. So that would be my recommendation. This is slash through. So I put it into Terapeak and looky here. 190, 189.99, 162, 149, 139, 150, 140, 180. This is definitely a big money bolo brooch to look for the double headed horse. This one is another Jose Barrera. Let's see if there's, there we go. Now you can actually see it on this one. I thought maybe it was in the little circle. There it is. And this one actually sold for a best offer of $140. This is also from 1983. Now this Elizabeth Taylor, if you guys can find this elephant, it is a big money bolo. This one sold for $237.50 and it is missing a bead. It said bead missing. So I don't know where the bead is missing, if it's a rhinestone or a bead, but it still sold for $237.50 with 22 bids. Here is another one, $253. This is not an accident. This is not like somebody got lucky. This brooch goes for big bucks. So be on the lookout for this Elizabeth Taylor for Avon brooch. I was hoping to get a picture of the back for you guys. Here we go. Right here, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know if it says Avon. Let's look at the back of this one and see if we can get a better shot of it. Um, let's see. I don't, it's too hard to tell. See, I always do a close-up of that, but, you know, that's just what I do. So, this one is a rare Elizabeth Taylor for Avon Sea Shimmer Brooch Koi Fish Swimming. And $289 on this one, it is absolutely stunning. This was another one that I kept seeing over and over and over again. Here we go. This is a nice shot of what it should look like. Elizabeth Taylor Avon right there. That's what you're looking for. If you see that, look it up. There's an elephant. There's a koi fish. I saw a heart. I saw a whole bunch. I'm only showing you a few. But Elizabeth Taylor, bam. 
Bolo. Here's another one. And this one is missing a pearl. Missing a pearl right there. And it sold for $250. And you can see right here, the feedback was left. I'm sorry. There was a best offer on this one. But there was feedback. Let's see what it sold for. Uh, that one sold for either $198 or $155. So I'm going to guess... Well, I guess I can't assume anything. Let's see if there's a date. March 9th and March 13th. So it sold for 155 But on March 20th, this one here that is also missing a pearl sold for $200. Let's look at this one because it has a different background. And which pearl is it missing? I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe they just did a copy paste. Is it missing a pearl right there? I can't tell. Uh, and use somebody else's title and forgot to update it. Who knows? That could be, but that one sold for 200. Here's another one of the elephants and it says, as is auction, please read description. And then a flower problem will absolutely be mentioned. Very good condition, no issue. So this one is in good condition, sold for $299 with the buyer paying shipping. So this is not a super long video. There are not a ton of brands of Avon that go for big money. I was looking in around the $100 range. I'm sure there is a lot that fall in the bread and butter. And then also some that fall into the $50 to $100 range as well. But these are the big money ones that you want to find. So if you see these, just because it says Avon, don't pass it by. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys tonight. Uh, even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out. It's super fun. Basically, I'm going to be showing jewelry. And if you want to bid, you can bid. And if you don't, you don't have to. Just hang out in the chat. I do have other things besides brooches. I have a whole display. I'll show you guys some of that. We may dig into that tonight. I don't know. And if you guys want to see another jewelry jar, let me know down in the comments. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.